Okay, so first thing we're going to do is mark the floor so we can get our log length. This is pretty much the easiest way to work out the, the layout distance for notching logs. So here I've got just a scrap piece of log. These happen to be three and three quarters thick. So that's my final position where the log's going to lay, so I want to mark that. I'll go ahead and mark it both ways. So obviously this is not a real cabin I'm building here. This is just a mock-up to demonstrate. <clears throat> so this is a 4x8 platform. So that's my final log position. Now I want to measure the distance from mark to mark. So basically I'm measuring the interior of the cabin dimension. So I'm measuring here I have 88 and a half. So for my layout distance here I'll use in a minute to mark the, the log for notching. I'm going to take a half inch off of that number. So I measured 88 and a half. My layout is going to be 88 inches. So I would do the same on this wall. We'll do that now with this measurement. So there's 40 and a half. So my layout is going to be 40 inches. I'm limited on just how many scrap pieces of log I have laying around to do this little mock-up so I'm not going to put logs on all four sides but you'll be able to see see what the plan is okay so our first logs are going to be the side logs I'm going to cut them with a layout of 40 inches and the total length is going to be 48 inches plus my overhang. So I'm going to go 48 inches plus 2 plus 2. That'll be a 52 inch overall. Likewise, this way is 96 inches plus 2 inches of overhang on each end. So 100 inch overall length. Okay, now we're going to lay out marks on the log on the center line I have marked here with the blue line. We're going to put marks on here so we can position the jigs. So the easiest way to do that is go ahead and put a mark from the end of the log. At, in my case, I'm going to two inch overhang. My notch is going to overhang two inches. Put a little mark there. So this is where my cut's going to be. Got my two inches overhang plus my wall thickness. Put a mark here. You can see this mark. So that's not exactly my layout. The jig is offset one quarter inch from this line where the saw cut's going to be. So I want to cut there. I'm going to back up to my left one quarter inch. And that's my layout starting point. And we said the layout distance was 40 inches. So I'm going to pull over and mark 40 inches from that point. And just to check my work, I go that extra quarter and then I lay the log down. And I have about two inches here on this end. So our chalk line and our perpendicular lines are drawn on the interior face. This face will be on the inside of the cabin. So my jigs are marked for interior and exterior. If you lose track of which is which, you look at the end of the jig, these two dimensions are different 
The taller dimension is on the interior face. You should mark that. Okay, so we've got our center line of log, interior face, slide the jig on. This long line I just pointed to aligns with this edge. And then we're going to look in this hole here, and we're going to line up the center of the jig with our chalk line in two places. We're going to make sure this is aligned with that. Once we're satisfied that's in the right place. Okay. Now we normally do the same thing on the other end. This log is so short, I'm not going to do that. Now this is our first log, our base course log. And what I normally like to do is set the first log directly on the subfloor if it has a milled flat surface like this one does. So I'm not going to cut this notch on the starter log. I'm going to leave that flat because that's going to sit on the subfloor. But I will go ahead and cut this notch. Here's the other starter log. I only notched the front ends. I didn't bother back here. So you can see now why I didn't do the bottom notches. These logs are going to sit right on the subfloor. So there's no need for a bottom notch. Now your subfloor framing should be strong enough to carry all this weight. A lot of weight on these log walls is going to be bearing down on that subfloor. So you need blocking or other framing in there to support that. Okay, so now we're ready for a fully notched front log. And again, our layout distance on that one is 88 inches. Our overall log length is 100 inches. So we're going to go ahead and cut it to length 100 inches. You can always cut them a little extra long and stack all your logs and then finish cut the ends all to the same exact length once they're stacked. A little steel chainsaw is pretty nice. But I need a little more power for cutting the jig, cutting the notches. Okay, now we're ready for layout. We got our 100 inch overall. So I want two inches of overhang. Put a little mark there. Scrap piece of log. Same thickness as my wall, as my other logs. Put a little mark there. Now again, I need to offset that a quarter inch toward the middle of the log. And that's going to be the location of my jig. Do need to square that line across.
Okay, so we'll go ahead and mount that jig. There's my line for the bird mouth. Line up this line with the blue chalk line. Just double check my measurements. 100 was my overall. 88 and a half was face to face, but I needed to offset a quarter inch each way, so I'm at 88 inches. So that's my layout, 88 inches from bird mouth to bird mouth. So I'll mark this 88 here. Square that line across. Now we can mount the other jig. We're attaching the interior jig face to the interior surface of the log. So once again, we're gonna line up our chalk line with this line, bird mouth there. That's our 100 inch cross. Now for this log, we're gonna cut all notches, top and bottom. We're no longer on the subfloor.
Okay, so now is a good time to talk about this, this space. So what I normally would do is take a measurement now and see how much distance I have here. Subtract off my chink and gap to see what's remaining. And then I just rip a, a piece of wood with no notches and just fasten this straight down to the subfloor. Of course you will want to use some seal sealer material and flashing potentially in some cases. This is just a demonstration mainly of the notching sequence. But for a permanent installation on a real subfloor, you'd want to seal this underneath your bottom logs and this log um, with some seal sealer. So if you have a little crack left over, you probably need to go inside in the corners and make sure it's totally cleaned out to a square corner. This is a really good tool for doing that. It's one of my favorite tools actually. You can also get a gap like that if your layout is not square. So check your subfloor for squareness and make sure your logs are square. So the reason it's not quite perfect is I should have just shaved a hair more off of the the saw guides. 